My name is Florin Oprea. I was born in a small city near Bucharest, the capital city of Romania. I'm a tennis coach. I developed a love for tennis since a young age. I was playing in the national level until 19 when I decided to follow the, the university studies. I, I studied in the University of Sports in Bucharest. When I finished my study at the age of 25, I decided to try to find a, a workplace out, outside Romania, just to discover other cultures. So my first uh, job outside Romania was in Abu Dhabi where I lived for two and a half years, after which uh, I received an offer from Bahrain and I decided to move to try out a new, a new place. When I, uh, when I moved to Bahrain, the first uh, day I, I arrived, I was uh, welcomed by the, the owner of the tennis academy, he was a Bahraini guy. So we had, uh, we had lunch together, then we decided to go out in the evening. He showed me the places in Bahrain, like the city center and uh, the SIF area. So we, after that, we went for dinner. He was uh, bringing his friends, his family. It was very welcoming, the first experience when I arrived here. Yeah, I feel Bahrain is a very, very welcoming uh, country. The people especially are uh, uh, very nice, they are very friendly, it's very easy to make friends here. The social life is amazing. I can say if I have many Bahraini friends and not only Bahraini but international people. It's a very cosmopolitan city and uh, I feel like home. I feel like Bahrain has a, a vast history, so I'm interested in this, uh, in this subject, so I'm trying to explore like the past, how was in Bahrain, how is now, how will be in the future. I feel like uh, it has a strong cultural uh, heritage. So I'm exploring uh, as much as I can, all kind of uh, different things. For example, I, I like to go to Bahraini Souk, I like to see the fortress, I like to learn about these things every day. The food in Bahrain, I feel is like, uh, it's one of, my opinion, one of the top five cuisines in the world because I like Arabic food and Bahrain has a mix of Arabic food, has a mix of Indian food, uh, let's say continental, so you can find all kinds of uh, dishes here you can try. The Bahraini uh, grills are very nice, like very tasty, they have the much boost, which is very good. So the food, I'm a food lover, so I like it. The Romanian community in Bahrain, like I, I, I can say it's a, well, it's a large community. It's about 500 people that are living here. And we are uh, in connection every time. So for example, on the national day, we gather like 200, maybe 300 people. We celebrate the Na Romanian national day. We, I have many friends from Romania. We go out together, we spend time. So I, I think I feel like home also because of this, uh, this interaction with the, with the Romanians here. We gather for the National Day every year. Usually we are uh, organizing in uh, big ballrooms and uh, it's, a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good time of the year where we all meet, all the Romanian community. We are trying our uh, food again that we are missing. We have our traditional dances, we have fun. Due to my work, I'm, I'm always in uh, connection with uh, people from all over the world. So I meet people from every corner of the world. I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing different cultures. I'm making, I make friends with uh, different people from all over the world. So it's a, it's a nice experience for me to, to have this job and to be able to interact with so many different people all over the world. I feel like Bahraini society is open to all cultures. You always feel like uh, you're part of something. You always uh, feel welcoming. And uh, uh, the mix between the people makes it more, uh, more fun to live here. Uh, I think the social life in Bahrain is one of the, the key 
factors that made me stay here for a longer time because it's very easy to to meet people, especially the Bahrainis are very very welcoming. You can spend time with them, they invite you to, your, to their houses, you can spend time with their families, and it's, uh, you're, you're feeling like uh, you're, you're Bahraini when you live here. Uh, the most special mem memory in Bahrain was in 2019 when I established the uh, Inflow Tennis Academy and Rifa Tennis Club. It was, let's say, a milestone of my uh, time here in Bahrain because I, I managed to, to create an environment for the kids and for adults to spend time and to play tennis and to interact with each other. There was uh, nothing like this before in Bahrain, like a social club like uh, uh, Inflow Tennis Academy. So the people, when they come, if they play one hour, they will stay another two hours and they spend time with each other. So for this, I'm, uh, I feel uh, great about it. My future plan is in Bahrain is to, to help the community by establishing a camp for the overweight children and adults to inspire them to have a better and healthier life, to take care of uh, how they, they spend the, the time during the day, what they eat, how many hours of exercise they do. So we're trying to create a camp where we're gonna take them for three weeks and we're gonna implement this style of life, the healthy style of life. So in the future, maybe we can, uh, we can overcome some of the issues that is not only in Bahrain, it's all over the world. Now, the, the problem with the overweight and the obesity. Yeah, I choose the sports industry because I believe it's one of the most satisfying and most fulfilling industries out there. So I believe that uh, sports unites people, help them grow, and uh, it's, uh, you feel that you don't work when you do sports. Especially when you work, I don't feel like I'm coming to work. I feel like I'm enjoying myself, it's healthy, it's all beneficial for my body, for my mind. And uh, I encourage people to to approach sport every day. Uh, I start coaching immediately after I finished my uh, university. I started coaching in Romania for one year. After that, I moved to Abu Dhabi for two years and a half. And then I came to Bahrain. Since 2017, I'm here. And I hope I'm doing a contribution and I have a contribution to the, uh, let's say to, the, the sports industry here, and also to, I, I believe I help people become better as a person and also as an athlete. My family was uh, always in the sports industry. My father was a football director. My brother was a football player, my older brother. So I chose to do sports since I was five years old. Nobody pushed me, it was my own motivation. And I played tennis. I played the uh, national level and after that I went to college and I, I started to, to, let's say, to know more about the insides of sports, not only tennis but all the other sports. I was practicing tennis almost uh, all my life, so after I stopped playing because I to play tennis in these days is very expensive. So you need to, to have a support, which I didn't have. And after I chose to, to become a coach, I liked the idea of teaching other people. So I started to, to love this job and to do it daily. I have no days off, I'm always on the court and I'm happy. I believe sports is the best ambassador out, out there. So there is, you cannot compare sports with uh, any, anything else. If you can see the, let's say, for example, the World Cups in football or uh, Olympic Games, you see all the people are united. There is no difference in culture. Everybody is together. It's uh, just a joyful moment for everybody. It's, it's something that unites and uh, helps people to move over barriers. Yeah, I encourage everybody to, to start playing sports, not necessarily tennis, but any other sport, because first of all, it's healthy. 
it's for adults, let's say, for, uh, for adults, release the stress, it's good for mental health. After a long day of work, it's good to have an activity outdoor. And uh, it's beneficial in the long term because you're going to be, let's say for tennis, they had the study that you, you live 10 years more than an average person that doesn't do sports. So it's very good for health, it's very good for mind, and it's, it's yeah. I believe my biggest achievement is, uh, let's say in Bahrain, is when I opened the club here, because we had a problem. Before I opened the club, there were no tennis academies in Bahrain. So the people, they, just, they were just playing uh, wherever they could. So now it's, they, they come here, it's an organized uh, facility. We have six tennis courts, we, people are coming and renting, kids are playing in the academy, and everybody belongs to something, you know? They, they have the feeling of belong, belonging, which is very important, because uh, without the feeling of belonging, I don't know, it's, the life is sad, <laughs> let's say. I can talk about tennis in uh, particular, because when I came first time in two, 2017, Tennis was not very popular, so we started, I started actually to, I work for an academy here, a small club with only two courts. So after that I said, okay, we need to do something about tennis because worldwide it's maybe second or third in popularity of all the sports. So I said, okay, let's, I thought about opening a club and bringing people to, to join. So, in 2019, I was lucky enough to, to meet Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Mubarak, who is the head of the Federation, of the Tennis Federation. And I think together with him, we, we elevate the, the tennis sport in Bahrain. So now we have competitions for all ages. The, people, the national team is traveling outside to practice. We have uh, international competitions. So now it became more popular. We, I did a study in 2017, we, there were only 600 people who were playing tennis. Now there are more than 3,000, so it grew exponentially in the last few years. With the help of uh, Sheikh Abdul Aziz and also our club. We, we always work together and we try to promote tennis. Uh, my goals in, uh, in Bahrain is to, to have a strong national team as I'm working with the national team as well. And uh, we have some promising juniors that uh, we have some boys that they won in uh, Europe, important tournaments. We have also a girl that is practicing in our club. She just won the, um, a big tournament in Spain, a regional tournament. So since the last three or four years, let's say, we achieved a lot that before never happened. So I'm trying to keep, keep it going and build it bigger and bigger just to help the community and also to help the Bahrainis to give them motivation to play sports by seeing others succeed. And also, I think the most important is to, I'm trying to create athletes of life, not only on tennis court, but they have to be a better person elsewhere. So this is what they learn in this uh, tennis academy, and this is what we're trying to, to teach them as well. Not only to be good at tennis, but to be a better person when you're outside. My biggest passion, other than tennis, is motorsports. So I go, let's say, two times, three times a month to Bahrain International Circuit when it's open track day, or I do karting when I don't have a powerful car to go on the track. So other than that, golf is my another passion. I play golf regularly in the Royal Golf Club. And uh, other sports passion, football, of course, like everybody else. I'm watching and I'm playing as often as I can. Yeah, I encourage everybody to, to play sports. I encourage young kids especially to come and uh, try it. They can come to our academy, we can uh, provide them everything, rackets, balls, tennis instructors. They should try. If they try, they will fall in love and they will never stop playing. Because tennis is a sport that you can play up to 90 years old. So it's a lifetime sport.